Hey guys, what's up? It's AppOSX here, and today I'll be showing you guys a really cool new tweak in Cydia called Voice Activator. Voice Activator can be purchased in Cydia for $4.99. However, in this video, I will show you that it's worth it despite its price. Um, let's go ahead and get started and launch up settings. When you launch up settings and you go ahead and head over to Voice Activator, um, you are given the preferences of Voice Activator. Basically, Voice Activator is an extension of the default uh, voice command in iOS if you're running an iPhone 3GS or newer um, by holding the home button and then you can say play music and call people like that. But this takes it further by allowing you to open URLs, open apps, turn off Wi-Fi, um, repeat words back to you, just a whole, um, I guess a whole ton of new options available in Voice Activator and I will go ahead and show you some of those. So we're going to go ahead and add a command here, and we're just going to say um, open Cydia. And basically, we're going to go ahead and say action, activator. There are three actions, speak, which will basically speak back whatever you want it to say. So I could say open Cydia, and it will say um, Cydia, blah, 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 blah. Or you could have a URL, and you could say Cydia, and it could bring you to Cydia.com, something like that. But last but not least, we have activator, where we can go ahead and configure it to go ahead and launch up Cydia. So we're gonna go ahead and scroll down here. We're going to hit Cydia. And then um, when we say this command, it will open up Cydia. Let me go ahead and show you. Open Cydia. And as you can see, it's very accurate and it goes ahead and launches up Cydia right there. Changes, packages, search. Very accurate, I'm not gonna go ahead and let it refresh. So like I said, there are URL and speaking options too. So if we want to go ahead and launch up a URL, we just go ahead and I added Google right there. Google. And after simply saying that, it launches up Safari and loads google.com. Um, like I said, you can do any URL. I just chose a generic one. Another cool feature using Activator is that you can tell it to turn off your Wi-Fi and things like that. So we do have the option right there to turn off our Wi-Fi. We have it configured um, right here to go ahead and uh, turn off our Wi-Fi, toggle the SP settings. So if you do have SP settings installed, it does help. Turn off Wi-Fi. And as you can see, once it's done, my Wi-Fi will be disabled and my Wi-Fi bars are now gone. So it's really cool to go ahead and quickly toggle different switches on your iPhone or iPod Touch that has voice control. And last but not least, it can speak stuff back to you, which I will go ahead and let the, uh, I guess the machine here, go ahead and finish off the last part of my video that I usually say. And I'll just say App OS X and you'll see what it says. App OS X. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe somewhere up there. Follow me on Twitter at App OS X. Add me on Gamma Center at App OS X. And finally, check out iosbeta4.com to test out the latest iOS betas. Thanks for watching. And there you go. As you can see, that is the last part of Voice Activator, which allows you to go ahead and tell it to speak a command. Like I said, very cool. You can add as many commands as you'd like and customize it um, to your pleasing. And you can even add long phrases like open the world's best game and have it launch something like Angry Birds. Um, so I'm not going to go ahead and repeat with the voice activator that just said, but anyways, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.